siyana mugela ohlelwe lwe ithala etu platform eni le tule longez logoto esinke ithala kanyi ne go digital sa foundation tamelani is fundo ze mathematics the accounting isi zulu uli mlose kaya isi ngisi fal the physical science the geography as of twepeeshe the computer applications technology kanyi na maklase lena wellness oku nguguzi lo longa ngogu mkondo kanyi no mzimba lezi zifundo ze tulwa tsugu zonke kusuge la ngumsomblugo kia nguli slanu kutala ngehora lesine kia gwele slanu ufoku ya gufaifu dambama na ngumkibelo kusuge la likamenga ihora lesia kalombili half past eight kuze kamanga ihora lo kala emini half past one zitamele ni futi lezi zifundo emsaka zweni uko zi fm njalo ngulwe sine kusuge la ngo nine vya gutene psuku ni ngangena eka sinle tuliga facebook eliti Go Digital SA underscore movement. No magui YouTube uti. Go Digital SA Foundation. Siye temba nizo lichablela luluselo. Olito se wunfundi isa futi lulege lele. Kuloko eni kufunda eskule nzini. Lutoko zile nige luluselo. Nime menamo bonka banye bafundi beba ngale shum na mbili. O grade 12. Uguze nabo bazu uze gulo. Futi nonke nitichelege upumelela kwizi vivinyo zinu zo pela gonyaka. Sanbuna ni Kray 12, ikamala mgumuzi mtembu, itu saye ni geograf. Na mtla anje, suzo besipega anje, equation paper, equation paper nge final examination. Equation paper yetuwe Kray 12, asie si buwenju, uti imega njani, kali structure saye. Equation paper ya ku Kray 12, ina ma questions ama ngagi au 4. Ina, no section A, no section B, Kulo section A ni section B kuna ma questions au 2-2. Okazu kutu nje u section A wako kuna ma questions za mangagi ama bili. Benbe subo u section B kuna ma questions za mangagi kuna ma questions za mabili fourth. Aswa pe uti A ini ye la ma questions. U section A si aspege nje i climate and weather na ni futi ni chi omo followed. Benbe subo u section B u section B uwe tu unane une rural and urban settlement and South Africa's numa South African economic geography. Now, kumele wenze ganje na ke grade 12. We na la ulindeleke ukuthi answer isha ama questions amangaki. Ama tatu epepeni. Ama lenaze ama ningi ke grade 12. Aye nze ganje na ke imisteke enku uluge elen. Aye nze ganje. Avele etate u section A. U section A etate u question 1 etate u question 2. Masifi angale wa section B. Bese etata u question nchambe u 3 nyoma u 4. Ngalu kuchela ye grade 12. Uguti nje, ye advising ni ayon. U section B. U section B nje, ye wona olu laguna uwonke ama questions gepi ka geograph. Ngu uwe na, benzo sasa nje, i question A yoto, laga section A, nchambe nchatu question 1, nyoma nchambe nchatu question 2. Beso singa laga section B. Besi nchata uumabili lama questions. Yini daba ngisho njale, ingoba, alule. Endi awan lama questions. Awe rural, and urban settlement. Besi guba yene, South African Economic Geography. Atkale ya spayi u section A grade 12. Spayi njama questions. Aba jwele guwa buza ku exam uti. Bwa buza kanjani. Atkale njela kuma episodic rivers. Yini episodic river. Question ni pumega nje nage, grade 12. What is an episodic river? Then when uli ndelege uti nye utu answer ishe ganja nye grade 12, uzo pendula ganja. The river that only flows after heavy rainfalls or during any a very heavy rainfall which is taking place at a short time. Now, any question samba ba jolu wibu za kwe exam? Bazo yibuza ganji. Bazo to state two physical factors. Besi yo enzi njwane kreis wel fuya underline a physical factors. This will influence the discharge. Yini discharge kreis wel. Skuluma pelangani. Ngo keleza gomfu. Stream flow. State two physical factors. This will influence the discharge of the river. 
Yepigelo discharge. Uzoti so nige wena grade twelve. Uzoti so nje amount of rainfall gobas pege pela uuti mvulika nka gana. Yonezo e affecta ene the flow of a river. Uma gugu gugu une mvula ene nge mvula uzo 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 keleza kanjani uzo keleza fast. And the spare foot in the soil type over which the stream flows. Spin the spare in grade 12. The underlying rock structure with the EP rock laying a pansy. Katligatli impulin. Spin the spare in the rays of evaporation. Spare foot in vegetation density in catchment areas. Say as the grade 12 foot in the catchment area. Ila is solar corner in the impulin. It's where we receive any rainfall. Spin the spare foot in the volume of flowing water. Spin the spare foot the manner in which the water flows. Any foot answer on my answer is no more on my own guy nigger, grade 12 full beam. Infiltration rates, infiltration in a lamans and gena conana pants. Spare foot neck right end. Number work can just bear woods in gem, the soil water content. Woods eganja. Kubek has bear any question, grade 12? Okay. But to explain why the river flows throughout the year. Zobusutin again, manja grade 12. Yes, it gains water in much wetter areas. Such as Jenga Lazin Dagma is a catchment areas, Jenga say a Drakenspec Mountains. A Drakenspec Mountain e catchment area, Gepe, Yala, along the coast. Spege in a foot grade 12, Spege Uti, stream flow volume exceed in infiltration rate. So which means a man's a Swiss man ningi. I went in Gagasa was in Gena Gepe, Gapans, M. Slavatin. Bessa Siabuzo, I foot grade 12, Twa. What do you call a permanent river that flows throughout the year? Zobusutsi nige manj. Ngalu upindumboz. What do you call a river that flows throughout the year in dry areas? U underline ini u dry areas. So ubi zangani ye lomfula ya grade 12. So ubi zangani nge exotic river. Kubege grade 12. Sambe siyo pega la pana ubi zangani ngama river management. Now the question is going to be for when I got eight marks. Before you get into grade 12, let a paragraph questions. And the male nurse, by the way, will learn to go and finish up the exam. We will go and deal with the instructions. Or to show you a calling by and fund is for sure. We will change all the way we answer each question. A paragraph. We will let you in the journey grade 12. In the call of grade 12, we will let you open our answers. Ako. Nge format ya gepe ya wa English language. Mo pali paragraf. Mo pali paragraf wenzi njanige. Wa pali ama point forms, grade 12. Zo pala nje indaba yako ibo 8 lines. Njongo babe instruct levels nje yenza. O begi ya lele luuti yenza. Paga asiklo 8 lines wa ako ge. Uzo faga in. Aswa bo nepela manje ini ama points la baba funai. Asifu ndeye e question nge. Nancy question. It's explained in a paragraph of approximately eight lines. Why the cost of food and electricity could increase in future if pollution of the river is not controlled. So when in January grade 12, we are underlining in the zoo too. We underline in the cost of food and the cost of electricity. So we must answer the shagel up in grade 12. I guess born again some day. Ini, at least, ama points, ama ngagi, ama bili, awani. Uwo gula, ama points, ama bili futi awani, awe electricity. Aspege ye uti si ansarisha kanja nige grade 12, le question. Anda, nama nga pants go gula ge, suzo tinje, yes, it's costly to buy purified water. Purified water, ila manzi la wasuwe seko tiye. Farmers will have to buy more chemicals to purify water. Any answer my provider, in that the chemicals are costly to purchase. Any answer, 
production cost will increase. Any answer on Gabanega Fuzi? Cost of chemicals will include or will be included in food prices. Nansa Fuzi, any answer on Gabanega Fuzi? Polluted water will reduce productivity for the farmers. Food cost more. Especially when you want to maintain any profit margins. Any answer for Tunga Banias on a great wealth would be less food would be produced. Food prices will increase. Okay. Some say when you question a great wealth. The question learn and gem in a back wins. A map back wins, there was ye uti ayene. Ama back wins, grade 12, I found a nanny, nama phone wins. Lawa ends a galagapi, le kuma apes. Now, ama back wins again, la e South Africa again, so zoa pea ganj. Into a kalang melisaz and you in the kala, nening a yipi is season. Okay, so a pea again. Now the question, it's in jacket a glamour gamma lawa out too. So a back wind, back wind conditions. Okay, during the summer, no matter the wind, job at the shadow grade twelve, would say they okay during the wind. Then, best of all, could be a bit. Kabanga gave me Jane and Jim, good in Tampa, who name a pair, yes, South Africa. U a unicata patic, no matter on the Kalahari, high pressure cell, partner down. Best of all, singala, Gasset Depen. Ngase Post Elizabeth. Kara is wakoli. Unane. Une cost. Numa une cost al low. Ben besebe akbuza ge gui exam. Beti ge. U pressure a wako. Is this a Kalahari? Or is South Atlantic? High pressure cell. So gusu sini grade 12. It's a Kalahari high pressure cell. Yindaba. In Goba, with Sola Galagepe, we in Syria. Siazi Uti, during a winter grade twelve, a Kalahari high pressure salience and Jani, yes. But during a summer, ia move further away to the north, ia Pezulu la Paga North. Kubeg a fourth, the Pinde Bebuz, the Betty. Pressure cell B, Sia Kumbula Utu pressure cell B, Ugepe, Seula, Payana, and we in the ocean, Naga right to Ak, Gasset, Depen, Pesuni Depen, and Nani, Port Elizabeth. But so pressure cell B, is this a thermal, normal, a coastal, low pressure? In the grade 12 answer corner, coastal, low pressure. Okay, it's too bad. Any question about the booze, I the general direction of movement of the frontal depression. Is it eastward, normal, or westward? It's way younger, grade 12. It's way younger, east. So the answer will be east what? Any question about the buzzer yon and thumpe based on the land or if the source of a sobek nigayon and jenga manje lenging nigayon and jem in a depen in a port Elizabeth. Now, the Sabia buzzer depen will experience whether the onshore, no matter the offshore winds. Melu understand who is the onshore yin. The onshore yin do enge nai. No matter who is the offshore yin. Moya unjani opumai. So it depend will experience in the offshore. Goba umoya wens in jani, we are pum. Then again, a work thing. But the onshore, no ma offshore winds are associated with fog and light rains. Yinige associated with fog and light rains, grade 12, the onshore. Who best pay for any question? Good by Booz again, Jan, and Jay, exam. As Peg and Jay, question two. La Snanige, Snamat tropical cyclones. The tropical cyclone, Nigga, where as a great well footed developer, Gepe, Suaga East, Yagepe, Yaga West. And it dissipates a gepe, who dissipates a upella great well. It dissipates a gepe, dissipates a quilend. Uma se unja ni kreis wel. Inga sa isole pela le temperature ya kona. Blazing asa isole ini water vapor. Ya kumbula uwe tinje. 
tropical cyclone itenga ene amanze amanengi so more vapor nani futhi ne temperature e above ubani u27 degrees i guess beke ke grade 12 ukuthi imapha ama questions abaye bewabuzeke lana ngani nge tropical cyclone imagine ke manje unikiwe mhlambe isource yakho i diagram le diagram yakho inani inomoya ospinayo but mo uspina ke uspina ku yepi direction uspina ka anti clockwise bazo understand ke abantu aba grade 12 futhi yini sichaza ukuthi uma sithi anti clockwise noma uma sithi clockwise now the question is give an evidence to indicate that the sketch shows a cyclone in the northern hemisphere usuzothi wait a minute ke manje ume kancane bese uyasho ukuthi ama cyclones la e south africa i direction ahamba ngayo ahamba kepi nge clockwise position or direction awahambi nge anti cyclone so uma we anti cyclone iswe iyenzakala kepi ke leyo nto iswe iyenzakala ngale e northern hemisphere and again it's a question give evidence to indicate that the sketch the sketch shows a cyclone in the northern hemisphere Usuzo show ye wena grade 12 ukuthi nike air circulates in an anti clockwise direction and then is kubeke futhi any question ithi give one reason why descending u descending ukwenza njani ukwehla grade 12 why descending a in the eye i eye part nendawo lapha yana is dry usuzo uthi nike manje grade 12 uzo uthi nje descending a lo moyo wehla descending a does not condense kodwa it remains dry okay speak any question explain why satellite images are effective for tracking ama cyclones uma swa tracka nje sibeka ukuthi how far asehambe kanga kanani ama cyclones ethu siyesebenzise ini grade 12 siyesebenzise e ama satellite image ukwalandela nje nokuwonisha abantu ukuthi i cyclone sikanga kanani so that bazo prepare pele ukuthi behla behlale endlini noma bengaye mhlambe emsebenzini now si ansalisha kanjani ke le uzo si data can be received in real time uphinde uthi ne forth data can be monitored every hour njoba dengisho nje ukuthi yes sebenza ama satellite images uyibheka nje ukuthi isihambe kanga kanani i cyclone ingaphinde futhi isiz it can it can help to determine in the intensity trend of a, tro a tropical cyclone ungaphinde futhi grade 12 uthi it can it can be used to predict the path based on the observed trends speke any question now the question here futhi elandelani so i write a paragraph of approximately eight lines to outline the economic and environmental impacts of cyclones such as the one that is mentioned la uzo underline in grade 12 uzo underline i economy u underline in environment so bafuna izinto ezothu wena ke yize nama points amangake amabili awe economic nama points amangake amabili futhi ane environment asiqale ngani ngawe economic awe economy sizothi nje there will be damage to its transport and communication structures is bile answer damage to personal property that will lead to people becoming homeless any efforts answer my provider kungaba businesses will be damaged also it's costly to rebuild it will cost unemployment it will create opportunities for employment for rebuilding it will af affect the trading of goods and also it will promote a food insecurity which is a shortage of inland access to a healthy food or nutritious food any answer food you may provide will be the renewal of buildings and infrastructure so, what did you learn? Man, Jengani, Grade Twelve, Gay Economy.
Usuza ke pia manje. Ku environment impact. Kumbula nje sifuna only two points. Ama points ama bi. Ku environment uzo tsinige. Flatting of low coastal lands. Enyi anzo nga yesho. The coastal erosion. There will be a coastal erosion. The ecosystem will be disrupted. And then any answer that I'm going would be the food chain and food well are destroyed. Water table will, will, will also rise. So I'm going to answer that I'm going to say 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 that I'm going to so pega in the manje. Kona lava question two. So pega in the manje. So pega in Epen Hits Island. Now, so anje, give a term that describe the difference in temperatures between the CPD and the rural areas. So kumbula ye create well for guti. Kuma rural areas. Akshi siga kulu njenga gepe njenga ma epen areas. Kuma epen areas unezi zaatu kuti inda bakshi se. Kwa epen area ni ma artificial surfaces. Yeni sisa ma artificial surfaces ingoba imka kwa ya kona ipe iviwe. Une tiye la lapayana. Kuna ma buildings ama ningi. So ma ningi ama artificial structures a lapayana. So ili pige lili kama ge. Elen zinjani. So I give a term that's described this difference in temperatures between the CPT and the rural areas. heat island. Quebec. The question is what is the Give two sustainable solutions to reduce the temperature in the CPT. So when I was up in the temperature in the CPT, in the temperature in the CPT, so when the in the manje grade twelve, we lindele we to answer the challenge now. Kumele we challenge is that thing. Planting more trees in the open areas to absorb carbon dioxide. Kumele we to jump foot establish establishment of the roof gardens. Wake we challenge is that thing. People pay for large buildings. The use of white reflecting reflective paints or even surfaces to prevent the heat from being absorbed. Another answer will be in some commercial decentralization to move shoppers or even workers to our outlying areas. Uba su segepi, masipiti, ube segepi, ga le ngangma business outskirt. Some any answer my provider, ngatsinje, you must limit industrial activities to daytime only. Legislation to limit the pollution must be taken into consideration. Any answer I provide, you must increase the number of water features. Map Loma water features, Skulumangama swimming pools, or even Lama Lake, Lawa Abagepi, La Panama Parks, Kuma Golf Courses. Another answer will be promote public transport. In that will promote public transport to reduce the number of vehicles in the CPT. Because those kumbula pel, we say, oh my, we need, we need motor aiming, we CPT, we zagalan, we ban pollution. Then the answer you can, when I provide, that will be increase eco-friendly buildings. Okay, now, speaking of number any. The question is, how many people are examining? How many? How many groundwater? We saw many people who are using groundwater to get the iron. We saw many people who are using groundwater to get the iron. We are not paying any attention to the food, the water table, because our learners are trying to learn the mistake. Now, define the term groundwater. We define our language in grade twelve. This is. Water that is found below the earth surface. Nga panzi. Achwa ilu uba la manzi gepi. La nga panzi kwa maache. 
An equation differentiates the terms infiltration and runoff or surface runoff. You know infiltration. Infiltration is like grade 12. Water on the ground that enters or the water that enters the ground. So it seeps through the soil or into the soil. Besides, the surface run off. No man can run off in the pail. In the school, man can water flowing over land. Or the overflow of water. So, a man's what's all like? La, we at surface. As we enjoy a humble, our show ni pants. Leo se be zangani the run off or surface. No ma ini surface run off. Any question tapa bang agbuza yona ye grade 12 kwe exam ngaba what role does a ground water play in the discharge? Kumbula ge to send it discharge keleza gom fold. What role does ground water, excuse me, play in the discharge of a permanent river during the dry season? Zo pendula ganja nige grade 12, zo pendula ganja. It will add water to the stream, to flow, it's to, so that it can continue to flow throughout. So which means, la man's lawa e ground water, aya, aya aseza eni umfula uti utale unjani una man's. So angene lela kepi empulen, besu utale umfula unjani una man's. Any question? Abanga guza yana gui exam. Ungaba, what effects would the construction of the well have on water table? Zo pendulutsi nige. Water table will drop. Ngoba yini i well pel. Pela mbiwa umkote so that zo puma ini amans. So i water table will drop. Noma it will be lowered. Kies, pega any question nige. Uh, about the ground water. It's explained in a, a paragraph of approximately eight lines. Four natural factors that can cause the water table level to rise. You know, underline like like right, so underline our natural factors that cause the water table to rise. You map here grade twelve. It will be a topography. Remember, you are explaining a topography. How? Kanjani. Gentle slopes promote infiltration of water and lead to a higher table water or water table. ASB, point number two rock type. Rock type, Ngatolu will say there is a permeable rock that will promote. Infiltration and in lead to in a higher water table. Uba is soil moisture. Soil moisture, yes, dry soil will lead to a high water table because of the inf infiltration. Any point is not far forward. Any natural factor will be We're looking at the type of rainfall. Prolonged and gentle rainfall leads to any a high water table. See, as born among net sailing, you can cool in Tampa, nest in Tampa five days. So, in Tampa, more humble, and got any, one a man's a look at a lezon, a was most a come guard. Low man's log so go in a water table. A linear a point fourth. Cause by in a vegetable vegetation cover. A loss of vegetation promotes infiltration. And leads to any higher water table. Remember the last point on my fire would be evaporation rates. It will lower evaporation. It will lower the rates of evaporation. This will increase the rates of infiltration and lead to a rise of the water table. Okay, some of you foot any question with Bengay Buzaganja. Now Question three, what are you going to ask? I'm going to ask questions. 
question 3 wakho ke ama questions abajwale ukuqala ngawo nje ilaba kuthuzisa khona ini o one word answer abajwale ukuprovide nje bekunike enhlambe lapha e boxini lakho bethi khetha khetha igama elifanele ini i description of yonke lento le ekephi abayibekela baphezulu akesibekeke eyoqala nje i question ku question number 3 ku section b so the zone of the outskirt of the urban area are associated with high pollutions kuzoba yinikele yo grade 12 kuzoba ma heavy industrial zones siyazi ukuthi ingale kephe ku outskirt of the urban area ku number 2 the zone that the cpd expands to kuzo ikhumbula ke umakhelwane wane we CPD grade 12 ukuthi uyini umakhelwane we CPD grade 12 uyini i transition zone another question would be a zone of mixed functions surrounding the CPD kuzoba yini again kuzoba i transition zone another question would be the highest land value of all land use zones. So in that way, these are cooling as a zone. Kila paya ku open area zobe ku yene is CPD. No manje is Central Business District. The following question: A land use zone with factories that produce low levels of pollution. Ima piloma industries. Skulu mangama light industrial zones. Another question would be a zone that is suitable for the location of the airport. I airport si mo kumbula ga shimele ibe go tengoba ibanga ene umsind. So i pilo zone grade twelve a rural urban fringe. Some another question abanga kubuza yona would be a zone that is associated with golf estates. Ama golf estates ya chwalu kwa bona enda wene leze zintlenje e ibiza ya foods. So se ibiza nga nige leo zone. Se ibiza nge residential area. O i high income residential area. Kube kona lagu question 3. Great 12. La sipege ini ge manj. I concept se ibiza nga ne ni traffic congestion. Mfundi pela ngmele ay azi uguti si yini i traffic congestion. Now, as it define again, question one, uti nige, define the term traffic congestion. I answer ya kontlampe guzo ba yi. Over concentration or even too many cars or vehicles on the road. U number two, states one negative effect so you underline negative effects of traffic congestion on the physical environment so you underline u negative effects you pinde u underline in u physical effect so ama answers are ke kuzoba i map eyoqala kuzoba i air pollution yes bile kuzoba yini noise pollution siyazi futhi ukuthi traffic congestion Mbaglo puma less smoky less njalo 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 njalo. Izo kutene ikoze ine i global warming. So enyi answer yako ngaba ine i global warming. Enyi answer nga ifaga. Nga ifaga u acid rain. It will cause i acid rain. Another answer ngaba ine. It will reduce i visibility. Yinda aba i reduce i visibility. It's because of the pollution. Eyenzai. Sabe any answer will be a destruction or a damage of roads. I moto is nengi, zinga damage ene, imkwa. Umakti wanje nigeza ama ma solutions. Ama solutions wuti how to overcome a traffic congestion in the city. Kumele nje uwenze the opposite. Ngezo kuchela it's a later stage with kanjan. Now. Another question about the Ibuza and Sambewe exam. Bengatsin, you describe two negative effects that this delay have on commuters. 
ama commits ama committers grade 12 abantu abanjani abagibela noma basebenzisa ene i transport i anza yakho ke izoma kanje ama commissioners will arrive late at work any answer will be related impact anjengani loss of jobs loss of salary and also decrease in productivity and then another answer would be high fuel consumption any answer on my provide and sample will be there will be anger and frustration ngaba even ama road rage laba abantu belwa khona kube even ama accidents any answer my provide there will be there will be an impact on health this will cause stress or even exposure to any pollution. Then, message to again. Suggest any question. Suggest two possible ways in which traffic congestion in urban areas can be reduced. So we in here, our solutions here, and here manage create twelve. Agle here problem le ane ane. Here man negative effects. The map here allow my solutions. Onga Island, Onga Wafaga into place. Solution number one, you need to improve the public transport. Number two, Ngenza index wa yeni i park and ride systems. Lauzo figu pake koni moti ya kola, besu kibela yeni i pass noma yeni i stimel. Uye enda weni yako o seben za gion. Ngenza noma lendek tuwa ama lifts clubs, Uma nchambe abantu banga gini nsebenza nabo. Nganda, nganda wonye. Nchambe nsebenza etropen. Nchambe nba u five. Nenga kibela imoto e ngagi, imoto e yoto. Ni hambe ngayo. Nga imposa, you can even impose high parking fees to private cars in the city. Mo imposa high parking fees to private cars in the city. Saba ntubazo balea betu, you know what? Ngege skuwa zu umela uzi njalo. Sale skoka ini skoke la matigiti. Noma i parking e ibiza. We can in, even establish the cycle lanes for our bicycle. About to be, be able to be seven to some bicycle, our bicycle over in is a month. You can do what you call one-way streets to speed up traffic flows. Have another answer will be traffic points men, or even offer more intersections. Unga promoter ini, the buildings of ini, construction of ama traffic cycles, rather than ini ama robots. Goba, ama robots akosa ini, yama accidents. You can even monitor a traffic through ama radio stations, or even adjust ama traffic flows according to ama traffic density and even times. So that is how you answer ini, ama questions ani, a congestion, grade 12. Okay, to be again, man. See, la pay an agape. We economic geograph. Corner lago question three. We economic geograph, yes, is pay our secondary activities, no mama secondary economic activities. I guess defining our concepts are landline. Define the term secondary economic activities. We'll define our engineer, man, the lily gamma, a great wealth. It's a manufacturing of goods or a processing of raw materials. It's a conversion of primary activities or economic activities into any secondary or finished product of goods. Number two, what is a market oriented industry? A market oriented industry, Pelaye Lais Pega Konuguti. In markets, how close it is to any no industry, how close it is to the market. Spege in la, spege pela ama resources, nama raw materials. Uwe sinje, aya transporte ga yin, uma e transporte ga kreis wel, kalula. I industry e will choose, uwe siyo wen zinjani, iyo gwa ka, ga se market. So, we define a ganjani ge le kreis wel. This is an industry 
that is located close to the consumers or customers. A seven is say manje in a bakery as an example. Why is the bakery an oriented or a market oriented industry? Zobu supendu la ganje nage grade 12. Bakery peli daisa in izengwa na makek. Now, the answer yako will be bread products are perishable and need to be consumed within a specific period. Example, any question answer yako when I provide will be cannot be stored for a long period of time and needs to be transported on a daily basis. And the same quality grade is worth in a market and just yazi, it's a salis katas man. So, a short lifespan life, life because or due to the cell by date being put on the product. I guess here are my characteristics here. Now the question here. What is the two characteristics of the bakery that makes it a light industry? So, if you want to make it, you can make it a bakery a light industry. Usuzo ba pendula uti nige manji. Uzo ti bakery uko kala. Does not make any air pollution. Number two. It does not make any noise pollution. Number three. No bad order. And then number three. Number four. It's located. Close to the consumers. Another answer that you can provide, no use of heavy machinery, or even it occupies a small space. Another answer will be, can be even located in the CPT itself. Example, the last answer that you can provide will be, clients can buy directly from a light industry. Okay, spare any question. Abanga ebuza ye kona lagu question 3 about any secondary activity, economic activity. So I discuss two factors that are likely to influence production cost at this bakery. Yima pige lama, lama factors anga influenza in the production cost of this bakery. Eo kalak zobayen, it transports. The effective and efficient transports for our raw materials will increase any fuel cost. This will increase, in turn, the food, the cost of production. Spare foods any spare any the availability of raw materials. Our raw materials raw materials are going to be great. Twelve spare pela ma ingredients. Ma ingredients kumele ebe close to the market. Spare any. The labor, the availability of unskilled labor force. Spare electricity, sustainable supply of electricity. Spare amanzi, water, the availability of water. And then, lastly, the maintenance of the equipment. Can you ask any questions about the exam? Explain the economic importance. So we underline our grade 12 in economic importance of light industries for the economy of South Africa. Ndo kala nje mabe kubuza le question. Kuzo mele ekanda kisale ini provision of employment. Ndo kala nje mele kisale ekanda. Now, aswa pege ege ama answers. Unga wa nike za kegui exam grade 12. Na. It's provide, provides accessible markets for the buying and selling of goods. It's also provide customers have access to stores which sells products. Factories are located close to the market and this will result in job creation to skilled and unskilled laborers. It provides important markets for the raw materials for primary sector. 
another uh, answer that we have a great wealth will be it will contribute to in GDP. GDP is a great wealth for the profit in the country. It will also improve in a trade relationship. And then example, lastly will be it will strengthen the retail sector. Since we look at secondary economic activities, some say they pay a month. I see a lot of food security. If food security is great, well, from God's mina, and the clear the share of marketing center, masking mau with him. I want to the way they need to answer the question. Kumele Besho Uti is the ability for people to have an access to nutritious or even healthy food. So in just with nutritious or even healthy the access, underline no access, underline any nutritious food or even any healthy food. Okay, I say define a man. In it define the term food security. So define a man. a man. Food security. Food security is when in a country people have the access to nutritious food. Kube si opega any food security question abanga ibuza under a food security. So I discuss two natural factors that contribute to food insecurity here manje grade 12. Akisegi yona manje ini food security. So we food insecurity. Ma piloma factors here ne? That can affect the contribution no matter the food Insecurity. Nank again. My climate, climatic factors, school mangan, gamma environmental hazards, anjengan, anjengi drought, floods, and even soil erosion also affect the agriculture negatively and lead to any food insecurity. Rainfall. The rainfall in like South Africa is not reliable. So in a low or unreliable rainfall will lead to any food insecurity. Soil fertility. Infertile soil leads to any less production and food insecurity. Even the hail is caught. The hail can damage crops and kill a livestock. Livestock is one. Our diseases. Diseases. Nama pest. Ama plants will actually be destroyed by any ama pest, such as any ama locust. Right. Nchambe any question abanga i faga again, nchambe grade 12, nchambe ngaba eyane. The paragraph question under a food, under a food security. So I write a paragraph of approximately eight lines in which you propose measures that can be put in place to improve food security. We answer the question of the grade 12. So we will introduce a national food security strategy. We will also encourage farmers to use modern methods of farming to increase any our output. And then also grow the mixture of crops or even practice in what you call mixed farming. Storing of food should you have any access for from the previous harvest. Even improve any the relationship to the access to cheaper food. And then encourage land ownership. So Christ wealth, if people are called to make an jaloge. When I am answering my paragraph questions, stick to your paragraph questions. Unga fagi ini ama point forms. Ngo ba bazo penalize, bazo vele be scratch igi lento im. Bazo e scratch a yonke i answer yako. Gisho nabe tuwa upale kanjani. Gisho nabe tuwa i correct kanjani. Bela si iban bela po ye oga manje kre 12. So pinda sponane ngo gzayo. Gini fisela nje intla antla e pepen leno. Kuze ube o gzayo. Gabonga. Si atemba ni funde gale. Nas toko zela is fundo se tu sana mtlanje. Eni se tule lungezi logoto ezi nte itaala liba mbise nene go Digital SA Foundation. Tamela nige futi eslandila yungezi katisifanayo 
lingakhohlwa ukumema nabanye abafundi bebanga le 12 ukuze nabo basizakale kulo luhlelo uma nine mibuzo noma nifisa ukuxhumana nathi ningasithinta ngokufaka imibuzo yenu kwinombolo yethu ye WhatsApp at 068-151-1072. Mfundi, unga kosha ukupala isifundo obuza ngaso kapamu kukupala umbuzo wako. Angi ipinde inamba yetu. 068-151-1072. Siabonga.